When I met you in the summer To my heartbeat sound We fell in love As the leaves turn brown so today I finally have a hair tutorial for you guys. I love hair, don't get me wrong, but with the length of my hair, it takes so long for me to do hair tutorials. I'm not even gonna tell you how long it took me to curl this because it's probably gonna scare you away. No, I'll tell you, it probably took me like maybe 40 minutes. It's a long time. So I don't have as many hair tutorials on my channel as I should because I really do love playing with hair and doing hair tutorials and it's so requested on my channel. So yes, I know I should definitely do more than like once a year. So here I am today with a hair tutorial. I am using my new May 3-in-1 curling wand and this is the middle barrel. It comes with a larger size and it comes with a smaller size. So the middle one I found fits my strand of hair perfectly and that's hard to believe because I have really long hair. So that's super awesome. If you've been around with me long enough to see my tutorial that I did on my Conair Infinity curling wand like way back in the olden days, you'll see that I had to actually wrap my hair around the plastic of that wand and then wrap my hair around the hot part of the wand. Some of you found that that was really helpful, so I'm so glad, but um, with this tutorial, I'm actually able to wrap my entire strand around the heated part. And another thing about this wand, as opposed to like the Conair Infinity that I did in my other tutorial, is that the hair sticks to this. Like on my Conair wand, the hair is so slippery and it just slips right off, but for some reason between the heat protectant that you put on your hair and whatever surface this is, the hair strand sticks to this, so so it doesn't slide down so the entire thing curls really, really well. As you can see, these curls are just absolutely beautiful. So throughout the video, I am going to kind of give you all of the tips that I can think of um, for when I curl my hair. I can definitely curl my hair much faster than in 40 minutes. I can probably do it in maybe 20 minutes. I can cut it in half. For YouTube, I wanted to just go full out, curl all the way up to the root, take smaller sections so that it turns out really, really well. So yeah, this is basically how I curl my hair. If you wanna see some other videos, I know it takes a while, but I'm so willing to do it for you guys. Maybe a tutorial with the larger size. Definitely give this tutorial a thumbs up and leave in the comments below if you guys wanna see any more tutorials or if this is enough. <laughs> but with all of your requesting, I will definitely be doing more hair tutorials in the near future because I wanna do what you guys wanna see. It just takes so long. That's really the only reason I have done as many hair tutorials as I should, but I will make time. I will make time. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and talk you through this. So if you want to see how to do this, then just keep watching. All right, so the first step you want to do is spray your hair with heat protectant. This is super important, even though it sometimes feels like it never works. It really helps protect your hair. So I'm going to generously spray this all over my hair. Now I'm just going to brush through it so that all of the heat protectant is distributed evenly. All right, so I have heated up my middle-sized barrel. There's only one setting on this wand, so those of you that have wands with certain settings, and use whichever one that you like to use. So I'm going to section off my hair, and this is actually very important, how you section off your hair because it like helps you through the curling process to have the curls turn out better in the end. How I section my hair is I actually take it just like right above my eye eyebrow and go completely in a straight line to the back. So then I'm going to twist this and clip it off. Beautiful. I know. So basically how you want to do your sections is you don't want to go straight down with your sections and get this much of flat hair because then the curl isn't going to start until like right about here. So you're going to have all of this that isn't Curl. Unless you're curling from like the middle of your hair down, then that's fine. But for me, the curls just don't ever stay in. So you want to make sure not to section off down like this and grab a section, but actually section it off across. So in the back, it gets a little bit trickier, but I'm going to show you how I do it. So let's get started. All right, I'm going to show you a difference in curls really quick. So this is the curl that you want. 
and this is the curl that you don't want. <laughs> this is a result of putting too much hair on the strand at once. I'm going to brush through it because I'm totally going to curl it again. That was a result of putting too much hair on the wand at once. The wand just can't take it, can't curl all of the hair, so it just becomes an uneven curl and you don't want that. This is the type of curl that you do want. Very even, a very small section, and this is how we're basically going to curl my hair. So take a small section, start with the heat in the middle, and make sure that the hair is flat around the wand. All right guys, so like I said, keep the hair flat around the wand, and then when I let it go, I actually take my finger and twist it around. That for some reason like evens out the curl even more. I don't know, it's hard to explain what it actually does, but every time I curl my hair, I always twist the section when I release it. Um, that one I curled towards my face. Um, I mostly curl away from my face, but a few here and there, as you'll see, I do curl towards my face just to change it up a little bit and break up the um, curls from you know, twisting together and just making one big curl. So most of it's away from my face, but I do um, curl a few pieces towards my face. All right, so there we have one side. They are pretty tidy curled. So I'm just going to throw this in the back and I'm going to take the top section down. So because I have so much hair on this side, I'm actually going to do a, another section off. So as you can see, I did skip way ahead and I am almost done with this middle section and I'm really curling all the way up to the root here and of course twisting every section, but you know, it really, helps the curl stay in when it's all the way up to the root. And my last section, I'm just slowing down a little bit to show you that I do curl it towards my face. All right, so I'm going to unclip everything. There are those curls. Now I'm just going to do the remaining section. I'm gonna put these behind my ear and just take them to the other side and once again, clip everything off very loosely. And with this last section, I am of course curling all the way to the root, and you see that one, I did actually go towards my face. Um, so like I said, every now and then I do one towards my face, but most of them are away from my face. It really just adds dimension when you do a few curls curling towards your face. And I do curl my bangs towards my face. I love the look. All right, we finished one side. Now we have this whole side to do. So I did skip way forward because this side is actually pretty self-explanatory. It's exactly like the other side, just a little bit thinner. So I'm curling these front pieces towards my face because like I said, I love the look. All right, so this is what it looks like before it has been shaken out and kind of adjusted a little bit. These are obviously crazy curls. I'm just going to run my fingers through the bottom here just to soften them a little bit. You can play with the curls as you like, but that is pretty much it. All right guys, so that is how I curl my hair with my new May three in one curling wand. I hope you guys found this video helpful and got some tips out of it on how I curl my hair. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter and like my Facebook page. As always, for extra pictures and updates and all of my social media links will be in the description bar below. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone.